What's up YouTube, Joseph here. Today we're gonna learn three ways to do skin correction and Final Cut Pro 10. Let's go. Okay, so we're going to add a Gaussian Blur, add Color Mask. With the eyedropper, we're going to select the darkest skin tone. Our goal is to make the skin look soft and natural, so pick a decent amount of blur. Let's repeat the process with the lightest skin tone. Drag a Gaussian blur, add color mask, pick the lightest skin tone with the eyedropper, choose the amount of blur, and that's it. Okay, so we're going to add a Gaussian blur, add shape mask, the outside ring, it's the feather, and the inside ring, it's the actual shape. Reduce the size of our circle, zoom in, and let's start covering the imperfections. We're gonna try to get rid of this pimple. So pick the pimple you want to cover, choose your amount of blur, and now we're going to keyframe this shape. Drag the timeline bar to the first frame. Now let's zoom. Enable the keyframe on the shape mask. Press Ctrl V to open up the video animation. Drag the timeline bar to the right. Move the shape to track the pimple and automatically another frame will be created. Repeat this process until you're done tracking the clip. Now let's preview. Looks great. Now we're going to make a new shape mask. Reduce the size and feather of the circle. Drag the circle to the spot you want to cover and track the shape to the movement of the subject. Repeat the process until you cover all the imperfections. If you change the amount value, it's going to affect all the masks. So make sure it looks soft and natural. Okay, so we're going to duplicate the clip holding Option and dragging up. On effects, go to masks and add a draw mask to the top clip. Draw the mask over the face. Do not draw over the facial hair, lips or eyes. Go to Blur, add a Gaussian Blur to the top clip, choose your amount of blur. On control points, add a keyframe on the first frame of the clip, select all the points on the mask. Press Ctrl V to open up the video animation, drag the timeline bar to the right, and move the mask to track the subject's face, and automatically another frame will be created. Repeat this process until you're done tracking the clip. And that's it. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. And I'll see you next time.